Hello, hello, my name is Tim Cleaver. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to part 60. Yes, 60 of my Fallout 76 Let's Play. Uh, we are back here at Sunny Top Station in the northern, central, eastern part of the map. You know, somewhere around here. Like right there. And today we're heading up here to the, I think it's called Palace of the Winding Path. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. So thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, go ahead and follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Tim Cleaver. The link is down below in the description. Uh, I'm still working my way through my uh, Fallout New Vegas uh, playthrough on that. On, on stream, on Twitch. Uh, it's my first PC playthrough of that game. And it's very, very better than uh, any PS4 playthrough I've done in the past. Uh, so it's been at least a week since I last played this. Uh, so I may suck a bit more than usual. Hopefully the game doesn't crash. Like last time. Uh, I've been playing a lot of Dark Souls because I recorded and edited uh, a Dark Souls... Uh, walkthrough, not a walkthrough, but like a like a let's play as uh, Solar, Knight Solar of Astora. That was very fun to do. Very, uh, very passionate about the game and very passionate about about uh, Solar and the lore and and everything about that game. I love it. So if you have any interest in that, please check it out here on my YouTube. Uh, it should be the video just before this because I don't intend on uploading another video. Before this, if that makes sense. Uh, so we're level 40 here. Yeah, so I went back to camp. I did my usual maintenance. Kind of scrapping weapons I didn't need or use that much. Uh, yeah, and since we're level 40, I made another uh, backpack. This one at, you guessed it, level 40. So now we have even more carry weight. This is us. I'm digging it. Oh, there we are. Well, here we are, but there we will be. <laughs> uh, so I did play th through this level in another character, but that has been a few months. Uh, so I am looking forward to, to going back there and exploring it. And seeing what we'll find. We gotta find the admin password. We are continuing the main quest. And I think there are super mutants here. Palace of the Winding Path. Yes. So is this a place that actually exists in the real world West Virginia? Or uh, a facsimile of it, or, or something that this was based on, because this is really amazing. Oh, I hear a, I hear a ticky talky. Must be a ghoul with some uh, coordinates. Uh, so I have a feeling this will be another longer episode, probably uh, in at least half hour or 45 minute range. Just because it is the 60th episode and I want to mark the occasion with uh, a bit more time spent on this episode. And because it's a pretty vast and epic location by the looks of it too, so I just want to Take my time and look through it. Make sure we find everything. Make sure we read everything. Uh, if if we finish it and there's still decent time left, then of course we will continue. But we'll see how it goes. I've also been playing Far Cry 6. And uh, honestly, I don't know why I bought it. I guess I was caught up in the hype. I enjoyed it at first, but it seems like the least 
substance in any of the Far Cry games. Just like I, once I left the main starting island and got to the, or once I left the first starting island and made it to the mainland, uh, it just got overwhelmed with, with the choices and I kind of lost interest in the characters. So yeah, I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts on, on Far Cry 6, if you're playing it. And of course, your thoughts on this game as well. Alright, we discovered it. Palace of the Winding Path. I've got some photo mode frames unlocked. Target range? Alright. Man, this is the fanciest target range I've ever seen in my life. Super high ceiling too. Wow. That seems oh no, it's not a, is that a target range or just like a like a dojo type of thing where they practice their melee? Let's practice this. We're gonna make sure our her axe handling technique is up to date, up to snuff. Oh level 45, oh we can't even wield this one. Alright. But we can scrap it. Did I hear a duck? Like a that. What is that? Okay, now I really wish I had a. <laughs> Far Cry's ability to tag things and enemies. Yeah, if, if that's like a post-war duck, like a post-apocalyptic duck, that'd be amazing. There's another one. Why does this have power? Unlimited power. What is that? Have we been there? Optional hunt, radstag, nerd or herd? Oh, herd. I thought that said <laughs> there's a radstag with like glasses and a fucking pocket protector. Yeah, where's those radstag nerds? Those bookworms. Those geniuses. Some more. Here's a here's a real Target range, all right. Let's take all this. Automatic pipe rifle, all right. A crossbow. Uh, I saw a light over here. Let's go. Let's go be uh, distracted and let's look at this pretty light. It's probably yeah. What is this? What is that? And I've been playing so much Far Cry that I'm getting the uh, the buttons mixed up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It was an ambush. It was a trap. Oh, hello! This is my loot. You better stay away. Finders keepers. I, what is that? Oh, sharpshooter's assault rifle. Cool. Cool. I thought it was a uh, Batman at first. Police uniform. How do we look? Over and covered already? <laughs> Looks about right. Is any of this stuff good? I ah, will leave it. I'm over encumbered enough as it is. A oh, mole miner. Oh, the the raiders must have killed these guys. And a uh, cage. I'm guessing that's for like a a canary. If there's a mine, yeah, this looks like a mine entrance. Is it not? How do we bash? Huh. Well, I wish we were level 45 so I could use that 
Excuse me, so we could use that axe. What's happening here? Some type of sort of uh, junky bonfire. All right, let's go back. Amazing view here. Okay, how much are we over encumbered? Uh, six pounds. All right, we should have something for that. Oh, we got 28 lunch boxes? That only weigh three pounds. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I could have left a lot of stuff back at the camp, honestly. Okay, well, let's use this. Might as well. We have it. And this is only the start of our adventures here, so I know I'm going to pick up more stuff. And, uh, I'm expecting at least a workbench or two in here as well. So that'll help us maintain our carry weight keep it at a reasonable level yeah let's clear out the perimeter first let's take a, take a look around that must be the uh, I forget the name of the, the map itself but where the water park is yeah over here yeah 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 what is that, the ash heap? No, that's not the ash heap. Ash heap itself. There's the water park right there. Yeah, cool. Joining events, guided meditation. Prevent discorded forces from interrupting your guided meditation. Recommended level 25. Well, we could do this. We could easily do this. So I'm guessing it's just taking out more ghouls and enemies. Yeah, what's that noise, though? We gotta find out. We gotta find out the mystery of the noise. <laughs> Sounds like a, a Hardy Boy's book. Hardy boys and the mystery of the noise. These damn hippies playing their Metallica. Well, that's not Metallica. Who's in here? Cyrus's terminal. Oh, fucking Cyrus, that dick. Safety. Always off. What does that say? Uh, get out and stay out. Something, something to grow. Call 911 and let them know. Never go back in a burning house. When a fire starts to grow, call 911 and let them know. Alright, now we know how that poem started. <laughs> Chalk? We don't need that. Okay, let's read Cyrus's Terminal. Personal Mail. Uh, October 12th, 75, to Simon Gladwell. Warm greetings, friend. <laughs> I've read your transitory novice program proposal. Oh, the TNP. TNP. I'm dynamite. Uh, and I'm finding it very illuminating. When this retreat was founded, I had originally intended it to be a permanent destination. A place where one can free their mind and spend a lifetime expanding the boundaries of their consciousness. However, having novices as guests for a limited time might prove to be both invigorating and lucrative. And while I'm not normally burdened by material things, I'm not blind to the fact that we need financial stability to keep this place running. Allow me to consider what I've seen and we'll speak again soon. Okay. Uh, December 20th. 
to all disciples. Warm greetings, friends. This sounds not, uh, it's not suspicious at all. This is just a normal terminal. <laughs> Tomorrow is the winter solstice. So I want all disciples to make sure they're using their blue ribbons, their blue hair glitter, and carrying the painted watermelons. All right. If you've lost your watermelon, find Hannah, and she should be able to find a replacement. <laughs> they have a stash of replacement watermelons. Remember, this is an important day of celebration, and I want to make all our novices feel like they're a part of the tradition by throwing watermelons at them. Uh, March 10th, 76, so the year of the war. Or is that 77? I keep forgetting. Never mind. Uh, warm greetings, friends. We've had some minor complaints from our novices about disciples frolicking around the gardens in the nude. While I applaud the celebration of free spirit, please understand that some of our novices are quite new here, and it may take time for them to achieve that level of spiritual enlightenment. In the future, I suggest all frolicking be done on your own time in the privacy of your own rooms. Party pooper. Uh, August 1st, 76, to Simon Gladwell. Warm greetings, friend. I'm overjoyed with how well the Transitory Novice Program is progressing. Not only is our retreat overflowing with positive energy, but our permanent disciples have reported an overabundance of spiritual power. Something I've been striving for since the day this place was founded. I was also delighted to receive your generous request to have signing rights to the bank accounts placed in your name. Now that I've been, f now that I've been freed from the shackles of commercialism, I can focus my attempts at attaining my final inner state. Total jubilant bliss. And September 9th, 76, to all disciples. Warm greetings, friends. Disciple Gladwell has graciously planned a most wonderful Enlightenment Thursday this week. Instead of the usual gathering outdoors, he's requested that all of us simply stay in our beds, close our eyes, and attempt a metaphysical transformation. To ease this trans uh, transition, he's had some special ventilation systems installed throughout the retreat, which will fill the air with the sweetest of deadly scents and earthly delights. Yeah, I'm calling it now. I'd like to extend my personal thanks to Disciple Gladwell for everything he's done for the palace, and I encourage you to do the same when we all meet on the astral plane permanently. Okay, so who's the bigger scumbag, Simon or uh, Cyrus? We'll find out. Event failed? Okay. I didn't know there's a timer on that. Um, and I think I mentioned in last episode about going back to where we uh, fought that dragon from episode 50. The one that destroyed us. And, uh, retrying it and getting our revenge. Uh, so my question is, does that dragon stay at the level we were at when we first encountered it? Or will it be like all the other enemies in the game who scale to our level? I think it's the latter. So if, if that... Did I say dragon? Well, it's, it's pretty much a dragon. If the Scorch Beast... Um, does scale to our level... Then I will probably... Go back... For... Try number two... Uh, once we reach, reach level 50 and get... The best gear there is. That sounds like... The smart and logical thing to do. I only have like 46 rounds for this gun. Let's switch it to something a bit more... A bit more. Plentiful ammo. Steel guitar. Nice. We gotta give that a shot later. I hear the pitter-patter. Was that my stomach growling? I think it is my stomach growling. Uh, let's have some canned dog food. The most holiest of foods in this palace of the Winding Path.
or like Palace of the Gurgling Stomach. What's in here? Okay, let me take my copper uniform off. I don't need that. Oh, there's a snare drum too? Yeah, let's play some drums. Oh, shit. That's a bad time to play some drums. Is he wearing pajamas? Spooky Scorched, what? Was this what I've read about? Like, this is like a Halloween thing, right? Because it's, uh, what is it? October 23rd now, 2021. So yeah, it's like a week before Halloween. That's cool. Spooky treat bag? Zealots? T45 left leg? It's got a spooky sound effect too when we picked it up. Mystery candy? Grognak's axe and a plastic spoon so we could eat the candy? What is this mystery candy? Oh, it's those corn things. I hate them. Fuck them. Who knows what'll happen? Um. Okay, I want to. I want to take a picture first, and then. And then we'll experiment with the candy. No, it was the drums. Let's take a picture. It'll last longer. I've heard. So I've heard. <laughs> Uh, field of view. Let's zoom out a little bit. Yeah. We need the Palace of the Winding Path. Uh, wallpaper. There we go. That's a good one. Um, what can we have for filters? Let's go Red Rocket. And Vignette. Yeah. Cool. We got the bonus too. Good jam. All right. Uh, let's. I have a feeling this might whisk us away and kind of plant us in a. Uh, Another location, just kind of like like that Nuka Shine did in the uh, the earlier episodes, where we we drank it and we like woke up in the middle of nowhere. But let's try it, Mystery Candy, going in. What happened? The colors are speaking to me. No, they're not. Nothing happened. <laughs> Okay, let's uh let's go to our objective here. It made us more focused is what it did, if anything. Okay, we gotta go in there. I bet we do have to go into the building somehow and kind of work our way and twist our way to that. Yeah, it's on this level. So maybe it's through here. Oh, what did I take? A teacup or some shit? I don't want that. Wait, Granado? Hopefully that was the right time. <laughs> Any kind that kills enemies is a good kind. Over encumbered again. What's in here? Oh. Okay, let's drop that teacup or whatever we picked up. Teacup, yeah, I don't want that plastic spoon I think we got too. Oh, no, we got that from the loot. Uh, just drop the teacup. Yeah. 
I thought for a second that was like a some medics on the chair. It looks like a vial of medics, but no, I was wrong. Okay. What's in here? Holotape duplication terminal. Uh, greetings, user. What do you wish to do today? Record new holotape? Error. Duplicate from tape? Error. Duplicate from archives? Error. Batch duplication? Error. Okay. Something's up with that, though. I'm guessing we'll have to repair it at some point. And this is back outside. Yeah. Where are you at? There are you at. Employees only. It's my first day, but I am an employee. Or maybe maybe a volunteer. Something like that. Drugs. <laughs> Drugs. David Bowie knife. Day tripper. Some more drugs. Day tripper. Holy shit. Hey, what does that do again? Is that not in our new? She was day tripper. Uh, plus three charisma, plus three luck, and two strength for ten minutes increases thirst. Nice. So it's almost like uh, grape mentats. Not as high of a charisma boost, but still a pretty decent boost. What was it? Charisma, int, and strength? Luck and strength. Star. Oh, there's a bunch. Oh, they're all dressed like. I look like Halloween. Come on, Peter Pumpkinhead. With the coat of George Washington. Uh oh. Uh oh. Another three star legendary. Let's go. Oh, he's a tall one. He looks very tall. <laughs> Spooky treat bag. Another one. Executioner's snub nose 44 pistol. Plus 50% more damage when your target is below 40% health. Nice. So the deader they are, the deader they get. And suppressors, David Bowie knives, uh, reduce your target's damage output by, what was that, 25 or something? Uh, so what I've done, if I forget or forgot to mention it earlier, is uh, I took all of my lower level uh, legendary gear and I sold it for uh, script, I think it's called. Yeah, I think it's script, allowing us to get uh, better, or, or I guess current level, legendary items. Uh, didn't we pick up like a spooky treat bag or something? Yeah, what are these? Well, the spooky treats. Oh, is that just like a plastic uh, pumpkin with candy in it? Ha 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 ha, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Can we eat one? We can. Yo. Fusion cell, plasma grenade, and cotton candy bites. Nice. Let's have the other two. Actually, no. That might make us sick. <laughs> uh, let's save the rest. I hope they stay. 
I really hope they stay. Here we go. Palace admin password. Trans... Transcend Enigma. Transcend Enigma. Transcend Enigma. Duplicate the Die Hard's key fragment. Okay, so we found that holotape duplication terminal. Which was down there. Uh, duplicate from tape. Error. Duplicate from archives. Here we go. Which archive holotape do you wish to du duplicate? Uh, Starlight Mindfulness, Pillars of Transcendence, Winding Path for the Soul, Chant Series, Advanced Grounding, Basic Meditation for Pathlings, Die Hard's Key Fragment. Let's go Die Hard's Key Fragment. <laughs> I almost feel bad for old Margie. Smart as a whip, but never did like to get her hands dirty and couldn't hack it when push came to shove. Anyway, did you find her key? Let's pretend you did and move on. I don't have all day to watch you putter about. Hey, speaking of putters, I'm not sure what you'll find at Bolton Greens, but I am sure that whatever happened to the gourmands, it was as grisly and inhuman as they were. Good luck. Oh, you'll forgive me for not watching this time. All right. Uh, key to the past. Search for notes at Bolton Greens. I think that's like a golf course. Here. Yeah, let's not go there yet. I want to finish exploring this place. Since we're here, right? I think there's still a whack load we haven't discovered yet here. Like that beeping. Yeah, Palace of the Winding Path, no kidding. <laughs> Do we go left or right? Do we go straight or back or curve or what? Okay, let's find that beeping first. It's up ahead. Got to take care of our food problem, too. There you are. I see you. I see you. Wait, wait did we get a, a new gun or something? <laughs> a legendary gun? Oh, you're right there. Wait, 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 wait. Well, I didn't want to kill you, sir. Feral ghoul. Not yet. Not with my gun. I wanted to kill you with my saber that I've been neglecting for the last couple episodes. Trios? I'm a little tree house. Are we still over encumbered? Uh, looks like it. That UI is covering up the first number. I think it's 390. Over 350, so yes, we are over encumbered. Okay, here's the parking lot where they made uh, to a makeshift camp type of deal. <laughs> oh man. Uh, let's favorite that again. I'm pretty sure there's like a basement filled with with horribleness that we haven't discovered yet.
I hear a ghoul. I hear that signature breathing and muffling and, and mumbling of a ghoul. Or scorched, whatever. Yeah, there they are. Holy god, more Fortnite and Learys. Scorched believers. Die, 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 die. Glad I got tons of ammo for this gun. And you're dead. Medic's black powder rifle. Nice. Does that like heal us on every shot? <laughs> Trick or treat. Yeah, what is this? Vats crits will heal you and your group? Holy shit, that's awesome. By how much, though? Let's try it. If I have any shots with me right now. Uh... That's a ball. We have one ball. Is it worth it? Is it worth it just to see? Okay, what's our health right now? Does it show? Uh, HP 219, I think? Yeah, let's say 219. <laughs> Is he dead? <laughs> How much did it heal us? 224, so only 5 HP. So like... Uh, okay, my max HP is 290, so what's 5 out of 290? That's like... One point some percent. It's like... Not even worthwhile, I think. Oh, we should have saved it for this guy. Oh, we're out! No! There's more down there, too. <laughs> he does not want to to uh, iron his clothes today, no. That gun sounded awesome, though. What was that? Shotgun. Okay, let's take a quick look around here first before we go down there. I think this is the path that we need to go to find what what we're looking for. Booze? Just empty bottles. Yeah, they're all empty. Well, they had quite the party, uh, the last night. I'm not surprised. I would too. <laughs> That's a weapon. We could take that, scrap it, get the mods, get better. Is that a lunchbox? No rat poison. Food. So, uh, because I still haven't beaten this game yet, I'm still low level, like my highest level character is level 42 or something, or 52. Yeah, I think 52, because we got the, the legendary perk. Um, so once once you're in end game or post game, um, what do people do usually for healing? Like, do they keep like one food item in their inventory, say, the canned uh, dog food just because you can get a massive bonus from that with perks and uh, to really like maximize their inventory effect effectiveness and efficiency yeah because yeah once you have all the high end gear I don't 
see you needing to heal and to maybe eat as much as early game because it, it should get easier. So yeah, if, if you have any uh, insight on that topic, please let me know in the comments below if I'm if I'm on the right path here. What are these? Are these just... Oh, towels. Okay. Lots of towels. That's... <laughs> that made me, uh... You should have seen my face. Why all the towels? Towels. Oh, we've been here already? Okay. Uh, let's go back down this way, then. Is that a safe? What is that? Oh. Radix, sweet. That's just a vent. A vent? A vent for the event. Is there good stuff in these? Nope. Here we go. This is where I want to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't even use bats because I'm so over encumbered. Almost level 41, too. Or 42, 1. <laughs> died, died, died. Legendary Spooky Scorched. I wish we could get those uh, suits that they're wearing. Bloody lead pipe. What does that do? Damage increases as health decreases. Okay. So for like a glass cannon type of thing. Uh, I think we leveled up too, didn't we? No, almost. Probably one more thing, one more event, and then we can level up. Do I have any other guns? Oh, yeah, what's this? The uh, 44. Yeah. Yeah. Let's use that. We got so much ammo for that. That's level 40. It should be level 35. Okay. Okay, let's get in here. Hopefully. Security door control. Not very secure if any old chump can open it like this. <laughs> so it's secure. It's a security door. It's the illusion of security. Here we go. This will help a little bit. Scrap that junk. Crack that whip. Licorice whip. How do we get all these? I don't remember picking these up. Let's keep the, uh, keep the shotgun. Don't need the bow yet. We'll keep that. Uh, oh, are you kidding me? I just realized uh, a few months ago I spent like real world money, like 10 bucks or so to get the Grognak uh, costume pack from the shop. Like his armor and his axe. And now we just picked up an axe basically for free. Good. Thank you, Bethesda. Uh, let's keep that though. We'll need the machete. Yeah, we don't need any of these. Super Sledge. We could turn that into the Grognak axe. Uh, let's scrap, scrap that since we have that already. Left leg. Oh, that's much better. Right arm. Yeah, there we go. Just 
still 9 over, but that's better than being 109 over. I have a feeling that's not the most delicious of water. Oh, hello, two fusion cores. Nice. What can we make? Boiled water seems good. Ah, uh, no drugs. Those wooden blocks were lying to me. They lied to me through song. Or through fun. I hate when people do that. Oh, let's make some healing salve. Yeah. What's this? Guided meditation terminal. Wholeness through transcendence. Program control. Instructions. Greetings, friend. So you wish to run the automatic guided meditation program? Directions. A healthy supply of spiritual incense should be present in the brazier at all times. Details can be found in the entry labeled Spiritual Incense. Number two. Alight the central brazier when the time is right. If the fire has died down, it means the brazier has gone into smolder mode for optimal incense burning. Number three. Guided meditation should be should begin automatically. Direct guests to use the Tranquility Sanctum and guided instructions should play. Number four. Monitor your disciples. In the, in the rare event that a disciple has an adverse reaction to the incense, uh, up to and including bodily harm to themselves or others, remove them from the area until they come down from its effects. Number five. Clean up any leftover incense, ashes, or vomit from the brazier when needed. <laughs> oh, man. A primer on spiritual incense. What is spiritual incense? Spiritual incense is the name we give the proprietary bundle of materials we use during guided meditation to help us visualize the unseen and reach a higher level of consciousness or insight. Edited June 27, 78. Some materials are becoming hard to come by after the war, so we've had to improvise. The effects are nearly identical, but there is an increased rate of hallucinations, psychosis, and other medical issues, so monitor users closely. Uh, the effects are nearly identical, but they're just more killing. More killing. Uh, ingredients list. Uh, data corrupted. Making incense. Directions. Warning. Only for use in the palace of the winding path ventilated brazier system. Burning spiritual incense elsewhere may result in catastrophic respiratory failure and death. Number one, crush the contents of the Mentats tins and the Day Tripper into a fine powder, mixed together in a bowl with one cup of oil. Number two, wrap the fiberglass sheet around a hard surface and gently shave or file it to create about three cups of fiberglass dust and mix with the Chem mixture. Number three, separate the treated aster blossoms from the stems and set aside. Number four, cut the fire caps into small cubes. Number five, lay out the cloth on a flat surface. Place the aster blossoms in the center. Number six, pour the chem and oil mixture over the aster blossoms, allowing it to soak into the cloth. Number seven, sprinkle the fire cap cubes onto the area. Number eight, tightly wrap the cloth around the incense mixture and continue to bundle it until it is tight and compact. Number nine, soak the bundle in the remaining oil to a caw to complete the recipe. Yeah, delicious. Warnings. Uh, only for use in the palace of the winding path ventilated brazier system. Burning spiritual incense elsewhere may result in catastrophic respiratory failure and death. Warning. Always wear a protective mask and gloves when making or handling incense. Warning. Spiritual incense may produce a hallucinogenic effect. Do not believe anything your hallucinations tell you. <laughs> oh, boy. Message log. Log. September... 8th, 77. Incense effects reported to be underperforming per expectation, tweaking the formula slightly to reduce the sedative effects and increase the hallucinatory effects. So it makes them more crazy. It makes them less chill and more psycho. That's exactly what we want at the Palace of the Winding Path. Or like Palace of the Psychopath. 
Hey, I made a joke. Uh, according to Simon, data <laughs> indicates that guests are more likely to return if they experience a spiritual vision during the guided meditation session. It's just a guy in a, in a white bathrobe and a staff <laughs> and a long gray beard. That's all it is. <laughs> uh, September 26th. Called an HVAC specialist in to perform some maintenance on the pipes leading from one of the main burners. Above ground output was low for a few days while the leak down here led to higher than normal incense fume exposure for myself and the other technicians. We were mostly able to continue working once we realized the talking unicorns were not in fact real. What? They're not real? They've been lying to me this whole time. The talking unicorns aren't real? Oh man, my childhood is ruined. However, I, re I recommend removing any sharp objects from the room for a while. October 23rd. Ran the incense burners a little longer than normal last night. I had thought the leaks were fixed, but this morning we saw bright lights on the horizon and clouds of fire in the sky. The incense tends to produce shared hallucinations, but that only occurs during the guided meditation, which was not running. Hmm. Uh, we saw bright lights on the horizon and clouds of fire. So what day was this? That's the day of the war. 77. Okay, October 23rd, 77. So this is the fallout 76. The war was in 77. Okay. Uh, December 29th. Since the war, incense ingredients have been hard to come by. We started rationing weeks ago in, an in anticipation of this, and doses are much lower. The sedative effects of the incense are a priority to keep people from freaking out. Yeah, you don't want psychopaths. I've begun to improvise with some other ingredients and found some creative ways of stretching the supply, at least until things return to relative normal. Other chem supplies are plentiful. June 27th, 78th. Discovered a suitable replacement for the incense formula. I'm a little worried since it goes against most food and drug safety regulations, but the alternative is that we've got no supply and people start getting belligerent. Keeping people mellow and happy is much more important. Is it Soma? I'll update the primer. It's probably Soma, isn't it? Uh, April 16th, 79. There's some concern that the revised incense formula is causing some adverse reactions for some people. Bad trips and or increased aggression are more frequent with certain batches, and I haven't been able to determine why. Currently thinking it has something to do with uh, potentially radioactive materials, you think? You dingus. What's this now? Cyrus is concerned. He's got a concern, as do I, Cyrus. Warm right, let's open this, too. Yeah, yeah. Warm greetings and wholeness. Sweet. Such a short time, but I'm having concerns about our new direction. You mean the uh, transitory disciple program? What's the problem? Are the guests complaining? Quite the opposite. By the time they depart, they appear blissful and enlightened. It's wonderful. No, it's a far more... I thought we could swim in this. Issue, I'm afraid. The amount of money that you're spending to advertise okay. the palace has me concerned. Don't let those sorts of matters worry you, Cyrus. After all, that's why you appointed me as the palace's business manager. You just go and get naked and run around lighting incense, painting watermelons, or whatever you need. Now, Disciple Simon, you're beginning to sound similar to when you first arrived at our doorstep. Oh my, perhaps your balance has shifted. Did you wish to be anointed in oils for a cleansing? No, no, I'm fine. Quite balanced. Everything is great. No more anointing. Well, perhaps I'm worrying needlessly. After all, I'm thinking I should have left that for enemies. With this new direction, we'll see. Sweat there, Cyrus. Don't even worry about it. Anyway, uh, since I'm here, I need you to look at these plans for a ventilation. Uh, I mean, uh, for spiritual conduit. 
Secret cave. So did Cyrus get swindled by Simon? I think so. I think Cyrus got taken advantage of by Simon for his uh, trusting and and peaceful nature. I think he did. Okay, I have a feeling we we found most of the important stuff here. Uh, yeah, this seems like a good spot to wrap up this episode. Uh, yeah, I guess next episode we will continue to Bolton Greens. Uh, I think that's close to Morgantown, right? Yeah, relatively close. Okay, yeah, we could continue from Big Al's Tattoo Parlor. Yeah. Yeah, so please, uh... If you made it all the way to the end here, please let me know how I'm doing. Please let me know how you're enjoying the content and the video. Uh, please let me know if I missed anything. Uh, yeah, how are you enjoying it? I want to know your your thoughts on this place. Yeah, and just, just your general comments are always good. Yeah, so please let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I'll see you next time in part 61.